The focus has shifted for Brendan Rodgers. Our former reserve team coach is now two months into his job at Watford. So, what has he made of it so far? That's been fantastic. I've really enjoyed it. You know, I think the things that, you know, why I wanted to become a manager. Um, I suppose I've nearly got all of that in the first two months. You know, so, um, so now the, the club is a fantastic club. You know, there's got great people here and, as I said, some real good players and staff. So, as I said, it's, you know, I think, I suppose you can go into a club and maybe not have things in place. And, and obviously more um, important to me was good people. And, and thankfully I've come into here with a lot of good people. So, uh, so now I've thoroughly enjoyed it. He's taken a couple of familiar faces with him on loan. Liam Bridcut made the short trip up the M1, followed by Jack Cork, who is enjoying working with Brendan once again. I don't think if, if Brendan was here, I might not have, might not have even like Watford might not have been interested. I might not have even come. But obviously, Brendan, I've been working with Brendan since I was like a schoolboy and like played in the youth team with him and played in reserves with him. And like Brendan is probably one, one of, if not the best coach that I've worked with so far. Like I've only been playing a few years. But I've played for like a few different teams now, and I'm still pretty sure that Brendan's the best manager I've worked with. Oh, he knows his football. <laughs> now he's, as I said, he's a good youngster who, again, I think it's been strange for for the the, the Chelsea boys. You know, obviously you come into here into your job as as a manager, and everyone calls you gaffer and boss and all that sort of stuff. And for them, they're used to calling me Brendan. You know, but I made that you know I made that point clear when I first came in here. That, you know, the BR on my shirt means nothing. You call me what you want. You know, I need to earn your respect. You need to, you know, as I said, it's it's a two-way thing. You know, I'll, all I can do is, is offer you what I've always done as a coach and a manager, is promise you three things. You know, I'll be open in my communication. I'll provide quality in my work. And I'm ambitious for everyone that I work with to be the very best. Brendan still holds Chelsea close to his heart and has been following our results since his departure in November. I enjoyed and I loved my time at Chelsea. You know, I've got special memories there, professional memories and personal memories that, you know, will be with me for a lifetime. You know, as I said, I'll always be eternally grateful for Chelsea for that. Um, as I said, they're the team that I'm always looking out for. I still have my subscription for Chelsea TV, so I'm keeping all of that intact. But you know, have a new life here with new people and you know fantastic you know want to build something similar to what we had there in relation to the ambience you know it's a great club here and real good people and as I said we're in a situation that you know it was a difficult moment but I want to come in and, and help the club and, and get them through this and then come out the other end a success.